I wish I never made the brown bunny. It ruined my life for the past three years. It ruined my body. I'm an out of shape, old man. I've lost a lot of my hair. I have gray hairs now. My body looks terrible. I haven't had a date or a relationship with a girl in four fucking years. I haven't really made out in a real way with anybody. I lived in a hotel out of a suitcase for three years to make the film. My whole life fell apart. So yes, it was nice being in the cinema last night, being booed for two hours. Yes, it was nice. I declared The Brown Bunny to be the worst film in the history of the Cannes Film Festival, and so did many other critics, and the loudly booing audience at the press screening. I was at the Arclight in Hollywood in 2003 with a friend, uh, undecided about what to see that day. And the ticket clerk told us that from the Cannes Film Festival press, The Brown Bunny was said to be the worst film ever made. And it was a no-brainer. We had to see it since they were showing it. Without any knowledge of the film or Vincent Gallo at the time, I was instantly transported during the first minutes of the film with its unique cinematic treatment of the opening motorcycle race. The crashing of the saw blade like engine sound over a grainy, saturated and telephoto film arrested me. It was journalistic, dreamlike, and hypnotic, which is a mood that is continuous throughout the film. Then the music swells in. Songs from a distant memory I've never had. Witnessing this melancholic desperation through a seemingly boring film was paradoxically riveting for me. scenes of failure with different women leading to the penultimate moment and now infamous finale were so touching and raw I've never seen in another movie with such sincerity and urgency uh, since. The theater was empty with walkouts by the final 15 minutes of the movie where we get to witness the real sorrow and loss, the film's trip finally coming together in a mind-blowing yes, reversal on par with The Sixth Sense, a man grieving for his dead lover, a true ghost story, figuratively and metaphorically. I knew then and afterward I had very different taste than anyone who said this film was terrible or unwatchable. And I always think to this day about how good The Brown Bunny is for all its facets of filmmaking and artistic bravery. A brilliant film, a yardstick by which you can measure all cinema and art. Thank you. I've got to sing.